So September the 15th came around, and what we saw was clearly a pipeline erosion almost immediately. And what we knew was customers are going to have to determine where they're going to invest money, where they're going to save, manage their costs. And so we immediately put a team together to say, okay, how can we package solutions up that can help our customers in this time? <coughs> right, and so the initial reaction was all around cost saving. Mm -hmm. And so what you saw come out of that idea, the think tank was, okay, spend analytics, cash management, <coughs> liquidation, pricing. So we created solutions that were consumable um, in a very short period of time, literally months. Wow. Right. And what we did with that is then we got our partners involved to say, okay, our partners need to put together, together with SAP, packages with these, with these customers could not only consume the software, purchase the software, but implement it in a fixed but very short period of time. Hmm. And today we have almost 72 solutions like that. First of all, you've got to, you've got to get into, you've got to have a very st strategic relationship with your customers. <clears throat> so you have to be very close to them. You know, we do that through the whole value equation. So mm -hmm. we created something called value engineering over many years, five, six years. This year we, we focus on what we call value management office. So we work with our customers where we help them build their own value management office, mm -hmm. <coughs> which really prioritizes the projects they need to do to get benefits out of it. Right, and so that's kind of where we understand what are the key priorities that these customers have. And it's not that complex, right? The first six months, nine months, is pretty much everything around cost. Mm -hmm. And now you get to a stage where your margins look really good. What do you do next? You have to start growing again. And so now you start to evolve customers looking at maybe a one year, a two year roadmap where they actually start to build up what they need to get their business moving in the right direction. They become irrelevant and they disappear. <coughs> and that's, th this, wa this was really interesting because we saw that. So you saw companies that panicked. And in the initial reaction to this kind of market, right, no liquidity, you know, <coughs> very news every night, is, is panic. And, and so customers panic, but without information, they didn't know why they were panicking. So you, what you watch was customers, <coughs> companies, that got themselves into a situation where they didn't know where they were where they needed to be. And the companies that had really tight supply chains, understood their people management, understood how much headcount they had, how much inventory they were carrying, how much inventory they had to lower, right, to map to the market. Those are the ones that came out quickly, start, and they are the ones that are starting to think about how to grow again. The other ones are, for the most part, saying, I don't want to get there again. So I'm going to put some stuff in right now mm -hmm. to make certain I don't get to a situation where I'm in the same situation I was in a year ago. And that's why I said this morning, there's so much opportunity right now. It really is a case of those that, are, that run their business really well, that have implemented technology to map to how they want to, st how their strategy mm -hmm. maps. Those are the ones that are gonna benefit because they can take all the knowledge they have, all the information they have, they can invest in the right stuff. And that's key, invest in the right stuff.